Hey guys, this is Canon Irons from Hawk Ridge Systems. Today we're going to show you how much human labor is required to operate the HP 5200. Let's get started. Human labor can be divided into three steps, build prep and nesting, post processing and maintenance. Let's take a look at the first step. Build prep and nesting involves the importing of CAD data, orienting parts for print, and automatic packing or nesting of parts in the machine build volume using nesting software. Once the build has been nested, it is time to send the job to the machine. While the job is being processed by the printer, the mobile build unit can be installed into the 5200, and then the print can start with the press of a button. After the print is complete, it is time for step two, post-processing. Post-processing begins by moving the build unit from the printer to the post-processing station for cooling. Once cooling is complete, it is time for part retrieval. Using the integrated vacuum system, parts can be unpacked from the build and depowdered in the working area. After part retrieval, the parts are taken to a bead blast cabinet for final finishing. Once parts have been bead blasted, they are ready for use or ready for further finishing. Now it's time for step three, maintenance. Maintenance involves cleaning the post-processing station and printer with a vacuum as well as loading powder into the build unit with the onboard touchscreen. Cleaning inside the printer is also completed with a vacuum and lint-free wipes. And that's it. Your total labor time is around 120 minutes for an average build. For more information on human labor, be sure to check out the article in the description to see how human labor can be automated. Thanks for watching.